Oh hey, slightly smaller Five Awesome Nations Club. I miss you, Emily. Okay, so this week we're supposed to talk about space, and I'm going to talk about space because I am an obedient boy. I am a nice person. And, um, yeah, space. My relationship with space is very weird and complicated. Everything I know about space, uh, well, not know, I mean fiction-wise, um, comes from uh, Doctor Who. Because that's the only, like, sci-fi thing that I watch that takes place in space, taking place in space. That's something nice, that sounds nice. And Doctor Who, I love it. I love Doctor Who, there's no denying that Doctor Who is perfect for me, for example. Uh, oh my god, I just have to say it again, I love Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who. It's a shame that I love Doctor Who and I, that I only found out about it. Well recently that's that means um last year about february too mm, it's tragic well no it was actually 2010 but i only started watching it in february 2011 i think i i don't keep tracks um but for example star wars i have never watched it i don't mean to watch it it's not something that's very appealing to me i have watched 2001 a space odyssey but it's a completely different thing Thing it's Kubrick, it's perfect, really. It's intelligent, and I'm not saying Star Wars, Star Wars is stupid. I don't want to offend anyone, especially because Luciano likes it. I don't. I. I just. It's not for me. And for example, other things like Star Trek. I don't like Star Trek. I've seen Star Trek, and it sucks. And mostly, I think I'm. I, I'm talking about space in a very sci-fi driven. Th way because I don't like astronomy, sorry Millie, I know you like it, or at least you're taking classes on it. I don't, I'm not very much for ast astronomy and physics and chemistry, it's not for me. Um, but yeah, that's it, I, I I didn't really like a lot of things in space, I love science fiction. I think science fiction is very good. My favorite science fiction book is, well, it's technically a science fiction book, um, A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. <laughs> and I mean, space. Pigs in space. That's something I can relate to more than other things. But that's it. That's what I wanted to say. I'm going to go back to study psychology, to studying psych psychology, which is not very nice. And it's boring. And I'm bored. And I don't want to have test. tests. It's multiple tests. Not all of them psychology. Just one. Okay, so you want to study with me? This is my textbook. This is not my textbook, this is my exercise book. And there's all sorts of questions about, um, well, impressions and expectations and Ash, which is not the guy from Pokemon, it's the, the psychologist and Freud, but we're not dealing with Freud, which is good, because I think he's an idiot. Um, expectations, I, I don't know if you want to study with me, but you're going to do it. And expectations, and attitudes, and behaviors. Um, conformism, obedience, and norm, norma, I don't know how to say it in English. Social representations. Um, what else? Social influence, which was the other thing I was talking about, is normalization, conformism, and obedience, and then non-conformism, and innovation too. Oh, what else? What else? And now, uh, aggression and um, affection. That's what we're studying now. And I have a test tomorrow. And I'm sorry if I bored you. I like to make my videos long, even though if I talk... Um, if I don't really talk very much about the the subject, I like to make that. I still I still like to make them long. I I I'd rather do random things like looking at my psychology textbook because I want to know what people d actually want to listen to me. Like, are there people who only listen to me if I speak for like three minutes, or are there people who will listen to me if I talk for seven minutes? That's something that I want to know, and that's why my videos are so long lately. The the books one was. 
obviously going to be a very big one because I love books. And that said, I, I feel like I'm sounding stupid right now. Because I'm talking about space and science fiction and for some reason I always associate science fiction or at least my relationship with science fiction as it, as Madonna would say, reductive. Uh, it's not. It's very good, most of it, except I'm not one that is much for space things. I like planets, things that are set in different planets, that's okay, like Doctor Who, on, and Doctor Who is also set on Earth, which is also acceptable. Acceptable? No, excellent, really. Uh, I'm just not like, I don't like space, spa spaceships, that's a hard word to say. And that, that's all I have to say. Okay. Oh my god, I'm actually really excited for the, the new Mr. Monday. Yes, excitement. That is all. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.